the other thing that i'm also trying to show through the book is kindly stop buying into this nonsense called that the partition of bharat is the sole creation of the divided rule policy of the british it is utter bs there is no basis for this whatsoever the divided rule policy did not create a division it exploited an existing division that existed for a thousand years so anybody who wants to wallow in this comfortable infantile juvenile notion i'm sorry to say is subscribing to a history textbook of 7th standard and that to by ncert so don't subscribe to it at all those honeymoon phases of unity how fraught they were with riots and how fragile it was becomes very very clear once the purpose of the khilafat movement is lost then they don't need hindu support whatsoever because the purpose of the khilafat movement was destroyed by a muslim kemal atatürk who abolished the khilafat secularized his country but of course that process i think is a failure now thanks to the person who thinks of himself as a reviver of the khilafat again i don't so when you see all of this you realize that you are needed when you are needed and not beyond and the justification for the unity was also given through quranic verse and the person who was giving this particular justification saying that this collaboration is quranically justified and sanctified was the first educational minister of independent bharat azad how he was one of the leading proponents of the khilafat is only half of the equation the other half of the equation is one of the most virulent believers and proponents of the concept the doctrinal concept of jihad his writings reflect that over and over and over again he was a hard core bahabi